It says, what is your favorite thing about each other? Stay safe out here, ladies. <laughs> Niggas, stay safe out here too, brother. Someone said, how did y'all meet? You know, he was seeing other people, I was seeing other people. No, oh, let me right. tell the truth and then you can tell how you think it was. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. What? I was geeking. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find a thing What? Why you always gotta act like that? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I know one thing, you better not motherfucking play with me. Do y'all live together? No. No. He's playing prank wars by himself. You know, uh, the she didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Shawty is one of a kind. She's the one that's on my mind. Makeup pressed out, she's so fine. New vids posted all the time. Look on the queen. Stacy, Stacy. before don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below Whoa. so today we are going to be doing a mukbang slash q a shout out to hibachi bros if you stay in houston make sure to go tap in with them tap they in, hibachi is fire no, like no. better than benny Hanna. yes so we're gonna get straight into this video i asked you guys questions on instagram so we're just gonna read them directly off there and we're gonna open all the food up but I want to say thank you for blessing us with this opportunity today to be able to achieve more and become more father. I want to say thank you for pushing us each and every day to grow up and prosper and really change the plan for us. But I want to say thank you for choosing us even when we don't choose you, Father. Continuously throughout our lives, throughout many decisions we make, Father. I want to ask that you forgive us for all the mistakes we make and give us strength to turn away from our sin and turn away from our bad habits, Father. I want to say thank you for those who blessed us with this meal today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It says, what is your favorite thing about each other? How gentle you can be. <laughs> I like how you say you could be not too hard. Because you have Because <laughs> what? I got my moments. Yeah, you have your moments. What's your favorite thing about me? That you're crazy. <clears throat> it's busted. I got a bugger. No. What's your favorite feature on each other? I love your, your eyes. Your smile. Your lips. I like your smile. Big ass lips. Don't even close your mouth. I love your eyes. Your smile. I love everything favorite about feature. you. Oh, okay. Your titties. <laughs> your toes. Your hands. Oh, this drink is like salad. Like it's good, but I don't know if I. My hair look a mess from that angle. I don't know if I could like drink that the whole time while I'm eating this. It's not pleasing to my meal. Mm. So, what is considered considered cheating to y'all? Anything that you shouldn't be doing. I don't you gotta know. go out to wait to delete or hide or anything. You know you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, but. If you know what you're doing is something your partner would not like or allow, that's cheating. I'm sorry, my man. <laughs> and a lot of y'all niggas is cheaters. Stay safe out here, ladies. <laughs> niggas, stay safe out here too, brothers. I want to try it over. Yeah, because you dipped your shit with soy sauce. No, it was like this. My shit did not have no soy sauce. Let what you mean, though? I just picked, oh, we're going every other? Let me try. No. Yes. Mine's got like a. Let me try. Are they good? You like them? Mm -hmm. What's one pet peeve y'all have? You are staying with each other for a long time. After a while, she since she likes her personal space, she just be coming up out of here with all different types of attitude and all different types of the day. Like, that shit is irritating. What did you have for? Why is you waking up from a nap in the middle of the day after enjoying your breakfast, enjoying your morning, taking a middle of the day nap? 
Why the fuck are you waking up mad? I'm just so used to being by myself. Like I've been living by myself since I was 18. So I just be one of my. But I feel like best. that's just natural. Like shit, personal space is never a problem. Like. Yeah. Y'all need your own distance and your own space to do what y'all need to do in your own life. Like even when you do actually live together, you should still make it a thing to have your own. To have time. your own time apart and shit like mm -hmm. that. I'm getting full, y'all. Question. They asking, how did your dad react meeting him or knowing him for the first time? My dad is not a very emotional person. Like, he doesn't really show much emotion, honestly. And then my dad doesn't speak English, so it was like, the first time they met, it wasn't a very like, uh, type of thing. We were like hanging out with him every day, and they was having conversation, and Dion was trying to learn Spanish. He's so cute, he was like putting Spanish words into his notes, and then like with the English translation to it, and just kind of trying to conversate with my dad. And my dad likes that, like he'll tell me, my dad talks to me about him. So he laid back. Yeah, he very laid back. Y'all know how to cook. Mm -hmm. And you know how to clean anything, literally anything. Mm. I had this crazy scuff on my maroon sixes for like two years. So I wasn't even wearing it. Was. He like, bring it over. He did something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Next thing you know, my shit is brand new. You know, my dad been locked up for yeah. a long, long time. He just got out like two years ago, I think. No, he got out the year I graduated high school. So it's like, he's very just laid back enjoying life. He's not a do-too-much type of guy. Will y'all be taking a vacation just y'all to? No, Stacy don't like taking trips with just me. Yes, I do. Shut up. Yeah, like, We just never came around to taking a trip just us yet. We always be with a big-ass group of people. We're all of our friends. Because fuck I look like going to place with all my niggas. What? Word. No, because we is. Someone said, how did y'all meet? Stacy flew out to me. No, don't stop telling people that. That's not how it went down. Don't say that. That sounds bad. She flew out to me. No, I didn't. It wasn't like that. We was cool. We was <laughs> no, is that the we was FaceTiming for a while. Why you no, let me tell the truth, and then you can tell how you think it went. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Basically, he texted me on Insta or on TikTok, and he was like. What's up, gorgeous, or something like that. I gave him my number. We was texting for a little bit. Then we started FaceTiming and stuff. And that's when I was hanging out with Nick a lot. And oh, I... Oh, this fucking excuse. That's not an excuse. Oh, my God. So, oh I was hanging out. No, 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 no. Stop. No, let me finish no. my story because you're ruining it. All right. So, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all. when. So, she, basically, when I was hanging out with Nick a lot. And that's when me and him was FaceTiming and shit. And Neek knew one of his friends. Like, she's been talking to him. So, we all agreed to meet in Atlanta. Like, me and Neek flew, flew out to Atlanta. And we was all collaborating. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I was geeking. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Nah, That's how it nah, went, yes. Let me let y'all niggas know how this shit went. Mm -mm. I just slid it on her. Boom. She answered. Yada yada. We started talking. Texting a little here and there. FaceTiming. The FaceTime got heavy. Yes, it was a collab, mm -hmm. but it was not just a collab. You knew you was fucking with the kid. We was talking. Okay, don't yeah, try we to was downplay it like it was just a collab. Okay, and don't thing. try to say like, oh, she just flew out to me. No, but you always be trying to use that bullshit as, oh, Nico's like, let's go. No, no. Nobody we, said We that. had that conversation ourselves. You was going to fly out either way. Because, one, you, you wanted to go to ATL. Two, I was out there. Okay. That's how we met. <laughs> she didn't come to ATL. I was coming to her. Advice on how to start getting closer to God. Talk to him more. Mm -hmm. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. If you don't know where to start, you can like Google, Google what, it, what it is that you're going through in that moment. It could be depression, anxiety, yeah. and start there with reading the Bible. If God give sees you, you're truly trying to seek him, he's going to help you with that. He will see you. Mm -hmm. he's, he's at your door. You just got to let him in. Mm -hmm. Amen to that one. Oh, how are you still eating?
What was y'all favorite trip together? I like going to Miami with him. We went to Miami two times. Yeah, we be having fun out there. We do have fun in Miami. What is the hardest part you have to overcome while being in a relationship? I feel like you always have to go through that, like, I'm not going to say toxic stage. He's always going to have his bad, always going to have his good, sad days, boring days, fun days. But that's a fact. everybody goes through that stage, just the argument stage in a sense. Mm -hmm. I agree. They said, how are y'all so locked in? I feel like we just been through a lot and we understand each other. So it's like... I feel like we understood each other early on, too. Yeah. It was something like... Before it was ever like... Serious, serious. relationship -y. Yeah. Because yeah. at first, you know, we were just dating. You know, he was seeing other people. I was seeing other people. And it was like, throughout that time, our communication was always just there. That was never no, like, surprises and stuff, so... Word. It says, who's the lit one? Who's the what? The lit one. Me. Yeah. I have my moments where I'm really fun and da da da, but he is this always that above joy every second of the day. <laughs> nah, but when she lit, trust me, she the one you want to be around. She lit. <laughs> it says, who is more jealous? More jealous? Yeah. I don't think we're both like jealous, jealous. Him. Him. He is. Fuck out of here. Yes, you are. I'm not jealous. You're not jealous, but like I'm I'm quicker more. to I'm quicker to say some shit like fuck is you doing that for? Yeah. Like I just don't be going for a lot of shit. I don't like a lot of shit. I don't play. Like and then not necessarily like she's intentionally doing something I don't like. But <laughs> she might do something that I don't like not knowing I don't like that shit because I never spoke on it before. But if it's in the moment, I might just be like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, right? And then she's like, what? Why you always gotta act like that? <laughs> <laughs> then it go on from Cause you there. be tweaking over dumb stuff sometimes. I was about to sing this one young boy line, but I didn't want you to take it the wrong way. What? Cause I'm like, bitch, I know one thing, you better not motherfucking play with me. <laughs> and that's a wrap, y'all. No, what you get we should answer that one question they keep asking us, like, do y'all live together? No. No. <laughs> we don't live together. Literally, we take turns on visiting each other. And, and we yes, we stay yeah, for a long of period of time because we don't want to be a part of it. The fuck why I always want to sit here? If he, he can stay at my house if he wants to, I can stay at his house if I want to. That's what I'm um, saying. And so we decide that we are ready to actually move, move in together. In together. We've, had, time, we've like, had conversations about getting separate cribs and... In the same state and, and stuff same, like that. Yeah, like, we just don't want to take that step. We don't feel as if we are fully ready for that. We'd rather live yeah. separately and still like be able to. Be cause like shit, yeah. why not be able to switch up the vibe? She come to my shit. It's a different vibe than mm -hmm. her own crib. That's why. And I like that. Like told. us being together every single day. Like we could take turns and swap. Like and like that's the vibe we do. Now. It's not like I don't believe it. Like yeah, I'll be here, time, but I go, I'll go home or some shit for a little bit, a week or two. But we don't usually spend more than two weeks apart. You feel me? Because okay. shit, why? Why if we don't have to? Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's one piece of advice y'all would give young toxic relationships? Mm. Set boundaries. Facts. Early, early, early on. Don't let it get to the stage where your partner's doing shit you know you don't like. And you just let it slide. To the point where it's making you lose feelings or you... Feel some type of way about it. Because you don't want to speak on it. Like you should always be vocal about what it is that you don't like. But people like. say communication is key. Communication that shit is key. It's real. Not for real. Other than that, don't let little dumb shit like other people's opinions and shit like that fuck with your relationship. Outsider should not dictate whether or not you trust so-and-so, you do this with so-and-so. Like it should have no correlation to your relationship. Your relationship is a you and your girlfriend, not you, your girlfriend, your girlfriend's friends, you, your girlfriend, and your niggas. 
you, your girlfriend, your mother. Like, you, your girlfriend, and the public. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, that's really it. You hit it right on the spot. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you guys want to see from us because we've been trying to make more content together. I've been looking at the sign Me too. I'll be doing it. I don't think you can really tell when I had it though. But yeah, let us know what kind of videos you guys want from us. Make sure you guys tune into Didi's channel. He has some good videos coming out. And yeah. Yeah, I just pranked her. Yeah, he pranked me. I'm tired of the pranks because I'm not even pranking him back. He's playing prank wars by himself. <laughs> and I'm up. And shout out to Hibachi Bros. The food was fire. I'm too fire. full. I can't I'm keep eating. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to eat later. I'm going to eat some more later because I just can't. And if y'all do go, make sure you get the garlic butter sauce. That the teriyaki as well. My shit is the steak. I like the steak, shrimp, and rice. The noodles is new to me. But I'm fucking with them. Yeah, yeah, come on. The juice, in my favor, I'm fucking with it. The juice is like just a so good. <laughs> 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 nah, what? what? <laughs> come on, yeah, little intermission. Sorry, I spilled my juice, but it's good. Like I was saying, it's just got like a real sweet, Sour. sourish taste to it. So I don't think it goes with hibachi. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time in my next video. <laughs> Say it with me. You got blow them a kiss. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time in my next video. <laughs> Do it for real. Come on. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Come on. One, two, three. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time in my next video. <laughs> 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 you know, it's